The avalanche of digital tools reaching the region in recent years has not been matched by similar increases in productivity. The lack of knowledgeable CEOs is the main reason cited in surveys as the cause of this phenomenon. What should be done to remedy this problem? Well, there's no doubt that the world is changing at a pace that I don't think we have ever seen before. We're literally living the fourth industrial revolution, which is the digital transformation. And you can see that, and we can see that in everything that we do every single day. There's no different for companies, for businesses. So right now, digital transformation is the top of the areas of concern and opportunities for any single CEO. One of the most important things for them is not just the technology itself, is how can they drive the cultural change needed inside the organization? What are the learnings that they need to have and the organization needs to have? How they create a culture where everyone wants to learn and embrace the change. So one of the most important things for these CEOs is not necessarily the technology itself, but embracing the change as part of the culture of the company. Family ownership hampers digital transformation, especially when families do not perceive the need to change things that have made companies successful for years. Where should we begin solving this problem? Well, definitely, you know, we have a great ecosystem of family-owned companies. And regardless if it's a family-owned company or it's a company that is in a public list, we all need to spend way more time than we used to in the past educating ourselves, reskilling ourselves. So one of the most important things for every single organization in terms of healthiness inside the organization is to ensure that we spend enough time reeducating and reskilling ourselves. Given the fact that we're living in this digital transformation era, now more than ever, trying to educate ourselves, understanding how cybersecurity, for example, is going to play a role in my organization, how data analytics, artificial intelligence, all those are key aspects for every single day to the organization. In this, um, uh, in this case, Microsoft is really supporting organizations, not just on reskilling people and training, but bringing them in technologies to help them in this journey. There is a view that capitalism drives firms in underdeveloped countries to low-tech sectors like commodities or primary activities. When one of these firms excels in a more sophisticated area, it's bought by multinationals. Is this true? If so, is there a way out of this marginalizing production model? I definitely have a different view. I've been spending the last probably nine years of my career in emerging markets, and what I've seen is an amazing new opportunity for small companies, call them startups, to really become international. I think this uh, data transformation journey that we're going through is really democratizing society as we have ever seen before. Today, for example, in Latin America, we see that you know, half of the potential you know, digital invoices in the world are happening right now here in our region. And that's an amazing opportunity for several of these startups to go and become international as many countries are building regulations around digital invoice and moving towards that. So what I see is a great innovation coming from every single place. And especially, I see a lot of more innovation coming from emerging markets nowadays that I've seen you know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago. Knowledgeable CEOs and structured management practices are the keys to company growth. How should we teach CEOs the necessary tech and managerial skills to enable them to lead a successful transformations <laughs> toward more efficient firms? I think the most uh, successful CEOs and leaders are those that are humble enough to be willing to learn every single day. There's no doubt that every day we all learn things. But being proactively and having a culture of a learning culture is key for their success because that's what really is going to help us to really evolve and grow. I think it's very important as well that we create a culture on risk-taking. That's one of the things that we have done as Microsoft, really helping our customers, not just with technology, but also sharing with them our own learning as an organization, how we have transformed. And all that readiness is helping them to be reskilled, but not just to the CEO, the leadership team. How many women do you have at C-suite level in your Latin American operation? Well, definitely diversion inclusion is a very important topic. It's core part of our culture and values actually as a company. So we, we don't talk only about gender, but we talk about many more different things. And it's key that we lead by example in that regard. 
asking your question, concrete question, in my case, more than 50% of our revenue in Latin America is led by women, a female, you know, in my organization. But as I said, it's not just about gender. I think the most important thing is to make sure that we're inclusive, embracing different type of views, and really representing the great diverse market that we all have in Latin America.